Hey guys, it's Hannah Saber from HR Images. In today's video, I'll be talking to you about my vlogging setup and the small rig products. So stay tuned. With my vlogging setup, I have, I used to use my A7S2, but I still want to be something a bit smaller and a bit more compact so I'm able to walk around do a bit more of a vlogging style so what i end up doing i end up getting rid of my a7s2 for multiple reasons hoping for the a7s3 to come out but in the meantime i've recently purchased the a6400 before the new crop sensor cameras have been announced and the reason why i end up going with this was one of it was being the tilt screen for the a6400 now it does not have stabilization at this stage i am pairing it with my 24 gm which is a bit more of a larger lens, but being in crop mode becomes about a 35 equivalent. But I will be getting a larger, a wider angle lens. This stage, what I've done, I have purchased the Sony mini tripod. So what I can do now, I can once I can attach it. Once attached, it has the mini tripod has a cable here, so you can actually control the camera via the uh, mini tripod. So once I plug that in. Switch on the camera, take the lens cap off. So you can actually here at the back, if you can see it, you got the button, so you can actually um, do digital zoom. You've got the record, you've got the, um, you can actually take photos with it as well, which is what I have decided to do, be able to control the camera um, as you're on your go, walking around and doing a bit of vlogging. Now with this, you've got to sort of hold your uh, hand steady just to avoid the camera shake. Now a lot of people, where do you put the mic? Because obviously the head, the um, hot shoe mic will be blocking the screen to defeat the purpose of a vlog. So what I've, done, what I've got, recently picked up the small rig setup. It actually got one and two mounts for uh, hot shoe mounts. So you can put your mic or anything on it. So if you decide you can actually mount your mic here. Um, so you can still see the screen or I end up having it on the side, easier for me to sort of control and see the screen a bit better, a bit more of a balance that I personally find. With the small rig setup, you actually take off those little triangles on the side of the camera and you can actually screw the actual um, small rig onto it. So making it very sturdy and very um, strong. So it won't come off, doesn't knock off or anything. You have your mic there or you can put it here, whichever you feel more comfortable with. And this is what I like about the small rig um, with the A6400. So basically, on the go, what I like about the setup, you can actually change the tripod around, have a bit more of an extension reach, and you can actually do a bit of vlogs. Just keep it steady. You can put your tripod, um, the mini tripod, down on the table, and you still have your mic attached. So you're actually lessening, you can actually get little extension brackets on the bottom and stuff there, but I end up preferring the small rig, just something nice, light, compact, using the Worldlink uh, Wireless Go, which is smaller, more compact, easy to take around as well, so less gear to end up lugging around. That currently uses a 24GM. Now I am actually looking for something a bit wider. At this stage, the 24GM seems to do all right for me, but then it's if you want something a bit more close, Nests are on your face, the 24 GM is good. If you want something a bit more wider showing your environment, it is better to have a bit wider angle lens. There's actually a few options I'm looking at, but before I make my mind up, I'll be testing out a few different lenses to see which one I can utilize better on this. Just to give you an example on the footage, um, you can see now I'm recording with the A6400, doing a vlogging. So I still get a bit more of an environment, but I gotta extend my hands out very straight just to be able to get more of me but if I have it more relaxed I get more close up of a head shot which is for me too bit personal so I just kind of prefer a bit more of the environment so unless you're happy to walk around like that a lot it's good. The A6400 what I like about it as well is the tracking it just sort of keeps you on um, your face in track the focusing is a lot faster than the A7S2 which is what I like especially when you're on the go vloggings as well you want something to be quick and focused so when you're turning your camera around different uh, scenarios, views or whatever, you want the focus to snap straight away. And this is what I end up choosing with the A6400. With this small rig, you've also, I've also actually got a cage and a little extension grip. 
So being the A6400, the grip is a bit smaller. Getting Since I'm used to the A7R4 or the A7 III body grips, just to get a little extension, I end up getting the cage with a little grip extension. So with the cage, what's good about it, you can actually mount some accessories. So you can put your mic on it. You can actually put a handle so if you want to do a bit of video. Um, in terms of uh, uh, vlogging-wise, I didn't use this for the vlogging setup because I want something a bit more light and less accessories. But if you're doing video of a mounting on the tripod or even on a gimbal, this is great to have. Very quick and simple to set up. Just pop it off and then with this you're gonna need to you're gonna need to take your lens off to be able to mount the camera in so once that's on screw the bottom of the tripod Mount the lens on, that's on, then you have the grip, and you just screw it straight on. Making the grip larger as well, so it's easier, more comfortable to hold with the um, uh, small rig setup. And then you can put, you've got a little screw mounts all on the side, so you can actually attach accessories. You can attach the mark, um, uh, an accessory to put the mic on. You got the handles that from small rig that you can do a bit of handheld video with. So different accessories. So the cage is just more of a base and then you can get little accessories extra on top just to do a full video setup or whatever you had. And this is what I like about the small rig. It's very solid. It's all made of metal and just quick and easy to set up. So that's another little um, thing I've got with small rig. So if I did want to do a bit of gimbal work or just have a bit more accessories on it for video, uh, monitor you can put the extension for the monitor and as well have um, for the microphone as well with this the small rig cage so you can it's it's endless you can actually add as many accessories as you can to it which is what I like and so this is one setup I'd use if I'm not using more I have a vlogging setup if it's a vlogging setup I use a sm this small rig for the shoe mount it's got the double adapters as well as you got the actual shoe mount on the middle of the camera you can still access but screens up you're not going to be able to access that so you end up using one of the other sides so that's just a little quick uh, rundown on my vlogging setup and a bit more about the small rig setup that i currently have um hope you guys enjoy this video give you more of an insight on my thing i will probably do another review uh an update as well in terms of one, once i find my lens i gonna end up getting um for those vloggers out there who do watch my channel you know Feel free to leave in the comments recommendations of lenses that you guys use, combining with the A6400. At this stage, I'm looking at either the Samyang 18mm for f2.8, the new one that's been announced. The reason being it's been f2.8, especially if I do low light vlogging, that's been good and it's a bit more compact. Um, or I was looking at the 10 to 18 Sony F, I think it's a 3.5 or a uh, lens. But again, it's not the best for low light performance, but it's got optical steady shot with it. So then makes up for the stabilization that's not on the a6400 until then guys do like share and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for vi future videos see you guys